Okay, double movie reviews. Uh, two vids tonight. So first we got Encanto, Far from Fall from the Tree, Far from the Tree, and Little Mermaid. Yeah, the original Little Mermaid. To clear up confusion because people are so racist and shit. So, I finished in cancer three days ago. <laughs> Here's my thoughts. <coughs> and you've seen the art book on the channel, so you can check that out, too. It's funny how Abuelo is killed by coyotes and suddenly the candle turns magical. Yeah, that did kind of make me laugh. I'm like, really? <sighs> the candle is pretty, though. Maribel's cute as a button, and I do like Encanto's layout. Definitely. Layout's good. Uh, they combine Beauty and the Beast with Emperor's New Groove and Moana. There's so many more aesthetics, too. Uh, Maribel ain't got a gift. That's nice. <laughs> Wonder what happened to Bruno, because nobody ever talks about that shit. Antonio's got the prettiest hair and skin. Definitely. He's so adorable. Oh, my God. Love how distinguished Abuela looks. Antonio looking sharp, despite being cute and nervous. His little suit is so adorable. So, so cute. Antonio can talk to animals, and his room is amazing. <coughs> Damn it. This fucking cough. Ugh. Is this as colorful as Coco? I don't know yet. I wonder if Casita is going to fall apart. Probably. Maybe. Who knows? Luisa kicking the donkey in the air. God, that was good. Totally get Luisa's family pressure and her song. Bruno's room is like the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. Easily. The toucan flying away from the swinging door. How is Mirabelle hunting the magic? We don't talk about Bruno. It is catchy. Uh, Bruno has been living in the walls of Casita all this time. That's crazy. Mm. So Bruno's vision of Mirabelle can go either way. That's pretty smart. Isabel's room is amazing. Love that. It was very, very floral and very, very colorful. <coughs> Damn it. Fucking. Uh, where are you? Uh, Mirabelle's right about Abuela killing the miracle. Yeah. When you demand perfection, it dims the possibilities of what others are truly capable of. I have dealt with that shit all my life. It's fucking annoying. Damn, the candle went out. Uh, it's good Abuela learned her lesson with Mirabelle and Bruno. Ah, they took the singing family concept from Coco and put it in here. Yep, I mentioned that in the Coco um, review I did. It's good they all came together to rebuild Casita. Isabella's dress looks amazing. I wish they had that as a pop or a doll. I would totally buy it. It's so beautiful. This is probably the most creative project done by Disney. Yeah. Lately, yeah. Next to Onward, honestly. I do love how the theme of it is family like Coco. I'd say this was more colorful than Coco, for sure. Uh, Dos Orguitas is a rehash of Under the Sea from Little Mermaid. It really is. And I don't mean that as a dig. I mean, literally, listen to the beat. It sounds just like Under the Sea. Man, 21 minutes of credits. Oof. Yeah, that's horrible. The film itself is 91 minutes long, which is pretty good. Because it has a runtime of 100... It's uh, 1 hour and 50-something minutes. I'm like, okay, that's really good. I was not expecting it to be 20-something minutes of credits. Fuck. Love Far From The Tree. Regular animation. Love my regular animation. It's bittersweet and cute with the trash pandas, because trash pandas are adorable. The deleted scenes do add more to the story. Shame they were cut. Love Bruno and Mirabelle's autistic traits. I almost got pissed over Bruno's vision of Isabella and Mirabelle hugging. <coughs> if that was how the movie ended, I would have been so pissed. Very interesting that Isabella originally was going to leave with Bobo and Marquez. Because she wasn't, she wouldn't be happy with in the Encanto. That was a cool plot point. Shame I got cut. I liked the idea. It was good. Wonder what else was in the original plan that got scrapped. I had a good time watching this. I did. 
I'll have to reread the art book and see how I feel about it. A solid 9.8 out of 10 for me. Yeah, that was good shit. Oh my, where the fuck is Little Mermaid? There we go. Ah, Little Mermaid. Oh, fun fact. One of my friends actually has the original VHS with the dick in the castle. Yeah. It's still amazing that Ariel was originally going to be blonde. Yes, she was originally going to be a blonde. And they actually put out strawberry blonde dolls that didn't sell. And they rehashed it and made her red. Story. Love how the opening has the instrumental for a part of your world. The high-res color update transition is pretty damn good. Like, all the old animations that got a Blu-ray update, they look great. It was a great, smooth transition. I love that. The animation itself still holds up 33 years later. King Triton's right about how bad humans are. For real. I laugh if Ariel swam to someone else's ocean. Fuck you, Dad. I'm going to the Caspian Sea. <laughs> oh, God. It's funny how people will cry today about Ariel rescuing Eric as woke because she's a woman. Yeah. They would. A woman rescued a man. That's not right. She should have made him fucking sandwich first. He'll be dead. He wouldn't be able to eat it. Uh, uh, I forgot about the flower petal, love me, love me nots. That was old school. That's old school shit. Man, I didn't realize Triton was a xenophobic, gaslighting, overprotective, close-minded person. Fun times. <coughs> the drums when Ursula shakes her ass is funny. Love that. Ariel's got legs, but no privates. She's androgynous or sexless. <laughs> Ariel's flag dress has foreshadowing on Hercules with Meg's dress. Yeah. It's kind of, it's really funny when you look back at old Disney flicks, especially like late 80s and then through the 90s, there was literally a blueprint for every film that was coming out, especially Aladdin. Aladdin had the most for blueprints in future flicks. But yeah. Um, what else was there? Uh, the chef song is accurate on fish preparation. I didn't realize that until I listened to it. I was like, oh, he's right. The sun set in the dining room looks majestic as always. The mood lighting for Kiss the Girl is immaculate. Can't beat that. There could be backstory on Ursula's time in the palace. That'd be cool. Because I don't know why the hell Triton said no to that ass. Cause, ooh, clapping them cheeks hard, oh, boy. Mmm, harder. <laughs> Movie's iconic as hell, but definitely has its shortcomings now that it's had longevity. Poor messaging on the princess dynamic, for starters. All them bitches out there, I'm a princess. Like, no, you're fucking not. <laughs> Where's my prince charming? He's not coming for you. Literally. <laughs> the idea is good, but reality-wise, shitty. <laughs> God. All this time, Triton could have given her legs, but didn't. He could have given her legs at any time. Any time. That's some sketchy-ass shit, man. Motherfucker. Uh, what if he's gone ashore in the past? I could see it happening. Like, he used the trident on his damn leg, on his fin. Yeah, his tail to turn the legs and shit and goes ashore. Still a good story, but average 6, 7 out of 10. Oh, man. Whew. Fuck balls. <laughs> so that's them three done. Fun times. Oh, so which was the best? I would have to go with... Encanto, because Encanto's got more... Positivity in it. Versus... Um, Little Mermaid and whatnot. And they edited out the boner with the priest. <laughs> Funny. Uh, bummer about that. But yeah, overall, they're good flicks. They're decades apart from each other for sure. 
And they both give different messages. But Encanto's is much more down to earth and more re um, relatable and realistic. We're just like, where's my princess at? Where's my Prince Charming? Well, because I know some bitches that are like that. Like, you're 30 something years old and you're still waiting on Prince Charming. Grow up. <laughs> Damn. I know you sucked a lot of dick, frog dick, but Christ. Christ, you could at least try not to. Oh, my, oh, my. So, yeah, that's how I feel about that. But if I had to rank all three, it'd be Encanto, Far From the Tree, Little Mermaid. And I love Little Mermaid. That's one of my top favorite Disney flicks. But it's also up there with um, Atlantis <coughs> and Hunchback as well. So, if you don't like Disney, well, you're not going to like this. Because everybody cries about Disney being bad and all that bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I'm watching my movies. Who fucking cares? Or they get political about it. Like, yes, that's J.W. And, uh, they voted Republican or Democrat. They should have been independent. Who cares? It's a fucking movie. <laughs> you can't have colored folk in Disney. And what are the characters made of? Colors! So they're colored folk. Anyway. <sighs> Dumb fucks. <sighs> but it is amazing, though, how, uh, how animation has changed in that time frame, though. It's awesome. <coughs> so I'm going to get off of here, and I'm going to do the next review. Stay tuned.